Ralph Erskine was born in 1914 in North London. He attended the Friends School in Saffron Weldon, a Quaker school. Although his parents were not themselves Quakers, he became committed to the Quaker belief, which became fundamental to his views on society and man's place in the world, which all affected his views on architecture. Two days before the war, 1939, he married his wife, whom he stayed married to until her death in 1988. He studied architecture at the Regent Street Polytechnic, London. He studied there for five years with fellow student Gordon Cullen. Cullen went on to become an architectural illustrator and influence of Erskine's. This is shown through Erskine's view that the surrounding area and landscape must be carefully planned out as part of his design. Once qualified, he worked for Louis de Soissons office designing the garden city of Welwyn. The work of Asplund, Mar Kellius and Lorentz also attracted him to Sweden. Despite the threat of war, he travelled to Sweden with just a bike, rucksack and sleeping bag. He is excited by the challenge of the Arctic climate's impact on his design. This became a distinguishing fa feature of his work. Erskine has a large influence on Scandinavian architecture and has, is admired for his belief of the development of an equal society and his support for the need for social and political awareness in the built environment. He was a true humanist. This is shown through his design of his buildings radiating optimism. His philosophy is to accommodate the, the climate and context of buildings as well as the humanistic needs of the people. He wanted his designs to engage the public and generate a sense of ownership and appeal. It is clear to see Erskine's philosophy of design in the Biker Wall project. The main feature of the biker redevelopment is the wall, which was designed to protect the community within. The wall was designed to protect the rest of the project from the wind and noise pollution, as there were original plans for a motorway to be built at the side of the wall. The inside of the wall is also south-facing, allowing more light into the flats within. Go on, laugh. During construction, Erskine tried to heavily involve the community with the layout and interior of the dwellings. He set up an office in a local funeral parlour within the community, which has now become the local housing office. He encouraged locals to come in and voice their opinions and how they felt about the construction. Each part of the development was built in sections as each part of the community was moved from their original homes into their new ones. Consequently, key parts of the original community were incorporated into the new scheme. Buildings such as corner shops, schools, churches and pubs were left in their original location, depending on what the community wanted. Erskine also held regular meetings, keeping the locals up to date with the construction. Houses were customised by the locals, some being built with more bedrooms depending on the family within. Around the wall, old sections of the original biker estate are also available as mosaics, and old stones and sections of buildings are incorporated into the exterior facade. Erskine developed the scheme to try and keep a sense of community from the original houses. Although the idea and philosophy of Erskine's design is clear, and at first the project seemed to work well by providing high living standards for the residents of Biker, the same sense of community was not kept after the move. Consequently, the area now has a bad reputation and is becoming run down. Many of the original shops and pubs of Biker have closed down due to the opening of chains such as Morrison's and the residents having less money. The current redevelopment is aiming to bring the area back to its original glory. A 
As well as the bike wall, some of Ayr's kinds of the projects include the Greenwich Millennium Village and the Ark in London. The Greenwich Millennium Village is an innovative modern housing estate on the Greenwich Peninsula in South East London and is part of the Millennium Communities Programme. It is designed as part of the regeneration of the whole brownfield site of former town gasworks. It was completed in 2008. The Ark is a prominent office building located in Hammersmith, London, bought by developers Landed. It is called the Ark in reference to its hull like profile and was built in 1989. On his death in 2005, Councillor Peter Arnold said of Erskine that he was one of the 20th century's greatest architects and in Newcastle's biker estate he gave the city one of Europe's finest post-Second World War new housing communities. His approach was so different from everything happening around that time as he put the focus on social regeneration and the interests of local people rather than just bricks and mortar. He built biker wall estate around the community, local people were fully involved in the design and rather than clearing properties and moving people elsewhere the community was able to remain together.